Pepper Pile, USMC. Starring Jim Neighbors as Gomer Pyle. Also starring Frank Sutton as Sergeant Carter. Well, for goodness sakes. Oh, wait a minute, Joey. What's the matter? Well, there's a picture there of somebody I think I know. Him? Moose Lewis? You know him? Well, yeah, what's his picture doing in the paper? You gotta be kidding. Moose Lewis is a fullback for the Boston Bulldogs. They're playing the Kings here Sunday for the division title. And you know Moose? Well, yeah, but I never did call him Moose. His name was Elry. But I'm sure that's him. Let me take a closer look. Hey, Eddie, come here. Uh, What's up? Well, Gomer just said he's a personal friend of Moose Lewis. Of oh, the Boston Bulldogs? Well, yeah, but this is the same fella, and I'm almost positive it is. He worked with me a summer at the fitting station back home in Mayberry. Fact is, he once knitted me a pair of socks. Moose Lewis knitted you a pair of socks? Well, yeah, he was kind of a nervous fella, and he liked to keep his hands busy. So he took up knitting, and there wasn't nobody else to knit for, so he decided... Gomer, if he knitted you a pair of socks, it's gotta be a different Lewis. <laughs> you may be right. Sure looks like him, though. Listen, Ziggy, you must have something. All I need is one ticket. Yeah? Good, I'll take it. Where is it? Ten-yard line? How high up? What? If the weather's lousy, I'll be sitting in a cloud. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't quibble. How much? Fifteen bucks? For a five-dollar ticket? You must be out of your head. Nah, forget it. I was willing to pay something extra, but that's way out of line. Nah, forget it, forget it. I'll go somewhere else. Nah, forget it. How do you like that? Fifteen bucks for a five-dollar ticket. Boy, they really know how to put the screws to you. Well, it is sold out, Sarge. And there's no TV. Yeah, yeah, but they're tickets. It's just a question of how much you want to pay. Hey, wait a minute. I know a guy, uh, uh, Cummings, Cummings, uh, Jimmy Cummings. I got tickets from him once before. Where's the phone book? Uh, here it is. Let's see now, Cummings, Cummings. Get that, will you? Company B. Uh, who? Oh, just a second, sir. It's a guy who wants to talk to Pyle. Hang up. Yeah, no personal calls in this office. I'm sorry, sir, but there's no personal calls. What? He says he's from out of town. Oh. Uh, just a second, sir. Hey, Gomer, there's a telephone call for you. Cut a hay, cow pepper, cullum. Phone call for me? Who is it? Some guy from out of town. Golly sakes, I wonder who in the world it could be. Hurry it up, pal. I want to use that phone. Oh, hello, Gomer Pye speaking. Hey, Gom, you know who this is? Well, the ah, voice is from here. It's Elry. Elry Lewis. Well, for goodness gracious sakes, what in the world are you doing in town? You are? Then that was you. I thought I recognized you. Hey, get off, pile. I want to make a call. Hey, Elry, you know them socks you needed for me? I wore them for almost two years. <laughs> Well, of course not every day. Hurry it up, pal. I got important business here. Listen, Gone, I'm only gonna be in town this Sunday night, but I sure would like to see you. How about you coming out to the game Sunday and see us play? Pile, I'm giving you just three seconds to hang up. Well, let's just say that I'll try to be there if I can and if I don't have the duty. By the way, where are you staying at, Elry? Uh-huh. Give me that. Sergeant Carter here. Uh, for your information, this is the U.S. Marines and not a social club. And this happens to be a business phone, so I'm hanging up. Yes, that's right. That's the way it is. But, Sergeant... Get out of here, pal. Get back to what you're supposed to be doing. But, Sergeant, I hadn't talked to Elry in almost five years. Out, pal. Out, out. Out, 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 out. Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, this is Vince, your old buddy. Uh, Vince. Carter. <laughs> Carter. You remember? I bought them fight tickets from you? Yeah, the Clay Liston fight two years ago in Vegas. Listen, Jimmy, I was wondering, 
Uh, do you have any tickets for a football game Sunday? Sight for sore eyes. Man, look at you. Look at that uniform and everything. <laughs> Boy, you done fell out. <laughs> well, you done fell out too. Just look at you, Ellie. A big, famous football player. Ah, it's just a job. Better than working that gas station. <laughs> hey, now you're gonna come out Sunday to the game, and you're gonna sit on a bench of the players. Well, I sure would like to. Is it all right if I bring a friend along? I'd like to bring Sergeant Carter. Carter? Isn't that that guy hung up on me this morning? Well, yeah, but he's really a very nice feller. He was just a little bit nervous this morning. He had a real important phone call to make, and I was tying up the phone. Bring him, bring him in. Oh, well, okay. thank you, Ellery. Now, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Is this your friend Al who's got this ticket? Oh, his brother. Well, why ain't he going? Oh, the flu, huh? Well, what if he gets better? <laughs> yeah? What does the doctor say? I see. <laughs> Sergeant? Sergeant Carter. Uh, well, hold it, Mort. What do you want, Pyle? Well, I've kind of got some exciting news. See, my friend Elry Lewis is in town. And, well, if you're not doing anything Sunday afternoon... What have you got in mind? A picnic? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sergeant. You see, he wants... Thanks, to... Pyle. I got plans, Sunday. Big plans. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of busy right now, okay? Look, Mort, here's the thing. What if this guy does get better? Well, what's his temperature right now? Uh-huh. What it is, Sergeant. See, Ellery invited me to the big football game on mm -hmm. Sunday, and he said I could bring a friend. Oh, hold it, Mort. Look, Pi, will you stop yakking in my ear and get out of here? I told you I got plans Sunday. Well, all right. Now, here's the thing, Mort. I got this chance for a ticket, see? It's available, and if I blow it, and this guy, Freddy, gets better, then where does that leave me? bucks for a five dollar ticket. Rat. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Listen, Pyle. Pyle. Remember when you came to the office this afternoon? I was talking on the phone, and you were trying to tell me something. What was that? This afternoon? Yeah. Did you say you had a friend who was inviting you to the football game Sunday? Oh, yeah, that's right. It is? You mean this guy's got tickets? Well, no. You see, he's one of the players for the Boston Bulldogs. He is? What's his name, Pyle? Ellery Lewis. Ellery? Well, in the newspapers, they call him Moose. Well, Moose Lewis? Moose Lewis? Well, yeah, he's a friend of mine from back home. This friend of yours is... Moose Lewis? Uh-huh. He invited me to the game Sunday, and he told me I could bring a friend, and we could sit on the bench. Hmm? On the bench? On the bench? <laughs> Hold it down, Pyle. Hold it down. Look, Pyle, this is the truth, ain't it? The absolute truth? I mean, this is very important to me. You see, I got a ticket, and if I pass it up, and this turns out to be some kind of cock and bull story. Well, no, Sergeant, it's the truth. Elry told me so himself. Yeah, Pyle, but sometimes you have a way of getting things up a little confused. Look, Pyle, could we go down and see Moose together? Could I meet Moose? Well, sure, I'll call him first thing in the morning. Yeah, good, good. You call him first thing in the morning. <laughs> good night, Pyle. <laughs> You see this? That's the Marine Corps emblem. 
swear you know Moose Lewis. <laughs> You okay, Moose? Yeah, sure, I'm all right. You guys going out, I'll be I'll be back in a minute. You sure you're okay, huh? Yeah. Get the phone, will you? <laughs> what phone? Listen, you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right, Ed. Hey, I'm George. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We better get the doc. Get the phone on your way out. Yeah. Well, there he is, right there. Hi, Ellery, how you doing? <laughs> Ellery, this here's Sergeant Carter, the fella I was telling you about. Sergeant, this here's Ellery Lewis. Hi there, Moose. Glad to know you. This is a real pleasure. <laughs> the reason we come down here today was the sergeant didn't quite believe I really knew you. Oh, come on, pile. That ain't true. I just wanted to meet Moose, that's all. <laughs> hey, Moose. What are you guys doing in here? Well, hey there, I'm Gomer Pyle. This is Sergeant Carter. We're real good friends of Faeries. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah? Hey, Moose, you know these guys? <laughs> what? But, but Ellery, you know me, Gomer. You invited me to sit on the bench tomorrow. What are you talking about? Nobody sits on the bench except the players. But, Ellery, I just talked to you on the phone. Yeah, get the phone. Come on, you guys, out. Out. Come on, scram before I call one of the guards. But, Ellery... Come on, pile. Go away, I just don't understand it. Ellery sure remembered me yesterday. You swore on the Marine M... <laughs> What you doing here? Looking for you. Listen, did you come down this morning to see me at practice? Yeah, we sure did. Me and the sergeant talked to you in the locker room, but you didn't remember me. Then it was you. They told me some guys came in to see me. I got shook up on a play this morning. For a while, I didn't even know where I was. Oh, is that what happened? Well, how you feeling now? Fine, go on fine. I just want to make sure you wasn't sore. Gosh, no. <laughs> Listen, then, you're coming down tomorrow now to game to see us, huh? Well, of course I will. Good. Make sure you bring your sergeant out here. Okay, Ziggy, you win. I got to see that game even if it cost me 25. <laughs> there you have the ticket. Right out in front of the main gate. Yeah, I'll have cash. And I ain't going to forget how you held me up on this deal either. Right. <laughs> Creep. Hey, Elder, do you mind if we stop by and tell the sergeant what happened? Sure, but then I gotta run. We got a skull session back at the hotel. Oh, well, thank you. All right. Moose! Hi, Sergeant. We were just Hi, coming Sarge. over. Hi, Sarge. I just getting ready to come over and apologize. See, what happened this morning is Elry got hit in practice in the head, and he was still kind of woozy. I didn't even know you guys was there. They told me about it later on. Oh, uh, that's what happened. <laughs> well, I figured it was something like that. I mean, I knew Pyre wouldn't lie about knowing you. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure you wouldn't sore. And you're coming out to see me tomorrow now, right? Oh, sure. Tomorrow? To the yeah. game? Uh, and sit on the bench? Is that what you mean, Moose? Yeah. I told Gomer I have some bench passes waiting for you. <laughs> well, I got to get going. I'll see you all tomorrow. See you, Moose. Well, bye. Take care. Uh, uh, take care, Moose. Uh, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, Moose, old buddy. Right there on the bench, Moose. We'll be there, Moose. Uh, great guy, that Moose. <laughs> Hello, Ziggy. Carter. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know that little $5 ticket you got that you're trying to get 25 bucks for? Well, you still got it, Ziggy. I mean, I ain't taking it. I'm sitting on the bench tomorrow as the personal guest of Moose Lewis. You heard me, Moose Lewis. Gee, Ziggy, I hope you don't get stuck with that ticket. Because a ticket like that would be hard to get rid of even at the regular price. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Pi, I'll get on this side of me, huh? What's the matter? There's a guy down there I don't want to see. See the guy in the felt hat, the tough-looking guy? That's Ziggy. Uh, I don't want him to talk to him. Is that the fellow you talked to on the phone? Yeah, yeah, I don't want him to see me. Hey, hold your own tickets, please. Get right in. Thanks, Hold your own ticket. Thank you. Yeah, we'll like uh, do you have a pass here for Gomer Pyle? A uh, bench pass. Bench pass. Yeah. Pyle, yeah. Here you are. Come right in. Great. Go ahead, Pyle. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Now, where are you going? Uh, let pass there for Pyle. That includes me, too. It does? Yeah. It doesn't. All it says is Gomer Pyle. Well, there must be some mistake. My friend Elry Lewis said that he'd leave a bench pass here for the two of us. I'm sorry, soldier. Now, you're going in or ain't you? Well, I'm not going in alone. All right, then you ain't going in. Wait a minute. Listen, we talked to Mr. Lewis yesterday, personally, and he told us there would be a pass here that included both of us. Look, buddy, what do you want from me? I only work here. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on, pile. Excuse me, please. Excuse me? Excuse me. Wouldn't you know it? It was too good to be true. I knew it. Well, I'm sorry, son. Be, Sergeant. No, oh, forget it, pile. It ain't your fault. I talked to Moose. I heard him myself. It's some mix-up. That stupid guy on the gate. Well, listen, Sergeant. I got an idea. Why don't you go in instead of me? Oh, no, pile. I couldn't do that. Why not? I wish you would, because I know how much it means to you, and it really don't mean that much to me. No, pile. Sure, Sergeant. You go ahead and take the ticket. I really don't care that much. I'll just wait out here in the car for you and maybe have a nap. Yeah? Well, gee, Pyle, I hate to do this, but I will. And I won't forget this, Pyle. You can bet on that. Oh, sure, Sergeant. Go on in there and enjoy yourself. Uh, OK. And I'll make it up to you, Pyle. I swear I'll make it up to you. Have a good time, Sergeant. I'll see you later at the car. <laughs> Thanks again, Pyle, buddy. <laughs> Hold it, hold it. Huh? You can't use this pass. Why not? Well, only Pyle can use this pass. Oh, come on. You said one of us could go in. I said Pyle could go in because his name is on the pass. Now, you can't go in because your name ain't on this pass. Is that clear? Now, either Pyle uses this pass or nobody uses it. Oh, for the... Yeah, give me that. Excuse me. Excuse me, police. Are you... Are you... Are you... Excuse me, police. Pile! Hey, Pile! Wait a second. It won't work. They won't let me in. Yeah, you take the pass. Go on yourself. Well, what did you do, Sergeant? Look, I think I know where I can get a ticket. Here, you go in. I'll meet you out here after the game. OK, Sergeant. Well, there you are, Ziggy. I've been looking all over for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I... I got the dough here for that ticket. What ticket? I thought you were sitting on a bench. <laughs> bench? Oh, uh, well, I was a gag. You mean you went for that? I was just kidding you, Ziggy. Some gag, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I uh, hope you didn't sell that ticket. Not yet, but I will in a couple of minutes. The guy just went over to the window to break a hundred. He did? Oh, but uh, I can still have it. First come, first serve. Right, Ziggy? Sure, Carter. The cash on a barrel head. I got it here. 25. Right, Ziggy? Wrong, Carter. 50. <laughs> hey, Sergeant. Sergeant, did you buy that ticket yet? Well, sure, pile. How do you think I got in? Why? Well, I just talked to Elric, and I got you a bench pie. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. I just spent 50 bucks for this. Well, forget it. It's all right, Pyle. I'm just going to figure I spent 50 bucks to sit on the bench. I mean, it's worth it, ain't it? It's once in a lifetime, right? Sure. I'm just going to forget the dough and have myself a ball. Well, good, Sergeant. Yeah, let's go, Pyle. Let's go see that football game. <laughs> Did we miss anything? Just the kickoff. It's our ball on the 30. Great. Come on, Pyle. <laughs> hey. 
See, fellas? Uh, we got our bench passes. We're supposed to sit here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, look, Pyle, uh, can I sit on the end? I mean, the view's better there, and you really don't care that much, do you? Oh, no, Sergeant, you can sit here. Oh, okay, Pyle. Uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. What a thrill, huh? This is the greatest day of my life. Hey, the first play. Come on, Harry! Come on! Sergeant Gordon! Sergeant? Here, I better have a look down here. Give me some room here, will you, fellas? Is he all right? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Just shook up a little. He'll be okay in a couple hours. Couple hours, he'll miss the game. Oh, say, listen, he's lucky he's alive. Al, Dick, bring the stretcher over here. Take him down to the locker room. All oh, right. I'm sorry, Sergeant. This is all my fault. I should have been sitting on the end. Yeah. Get the phone, will you? <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling all right now, Sergeant? Boy, it sure was nice of Moose to give me the game ball. And the whole team signed it, too. Boy, that was great. <laughs> well, he felt bad about you missing the game, and I felt bad about it, too, Sergeant. But, boy, you ought to seen old Moose run. The way he dodged around there, just like a jackrabbit. <laughs> yeah, well, I did get to sit on the bench, and I got to see the first play, and I got the game ball. All in all, it was a great day, pile. A really great day. <laughs> and all that hollering, now where are you guys going? Huh? Well, we're going to our car. Where'd you get that ball? Oh, uh, Moose Lewis gave it to me. It's a game ball. He made me a present of it. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't get that ball out of here without a permit. You got a permit? No. But it's mine. You see, Moose Lewis, he's the... Wait a minute. Ain't you the guy I had trouble with before the game, trying to get him a phony pass? No. <laughs> well, maybe you did, but so what? You ain't taking this ball. Oh, yes, I am. How do I know? You might have stolen it. Come on, give me that ball. Oh, no, you don't. You ain't taking this ball. Here, Bile. <laughs> I'm clear. Hit me, Bile. Hit me. 